हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डीजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 114 बैकिंग ग्राउंड्स मोबाइल इंडिया अपडेट फिक्स इशू विद डेटा बीइंग सेंट एंड रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम चाइना सर्वर्स द अपडेट इज ऑटोमेटिकली अप्लाइड व्हेन द गेम इज स्टार्टेड एंड वेस्ट जस्ट अ फ्यू केबीस इन साइज दिस शुड कम एज अ रिलीफ टू बैटल ग्राउंड्स मोबाइल इंडिया फैंस Battle Grounds Mobile India has rolled out a patch to fix the glitch that earlier today stopped players from being matched with rivals properly in battle royal mode and also prevented them from downloading new maps in the game. As per the new post has clarified that patch has been now rolled out by Crafton to fix the issue and has also detailed how the patch can be applied by all. Players logged into the game right now should also see a new prompt that details how the fix can be applied. When they restart the BGMI app earlier today the glitch caused only the Arangel map and the arcade mode to be available for players for matchmaking in the battle royal setting. Please check out the screen to apply the new Battle Grounds Mobile India patch. Department of Consumer Affairs have proposed a new rules for the e-commerce platform in India. The new rules include a ban on flash sales and a fallback liability to protect consumers from fraud. The government has asked people to submit their opinions on the proposed e-commerce rules by July 6th. The YouTube app is currently shows previews of video when you are browsing through them on the home page. The previews plays automatically as you scroll through the home page giving you a glimpse of the video before you even tap on it. However, the autoplay previews do not play with sound and the app doesn't give you an option to turn on the captions. But YouTube has now started testing a new change that will let you play entire videos on the app home page complete with sound and option to turn on subtitles and even a progress bar as well. The change has already started showing up for some youtube users and it also adds two new buttons and a progress bar on videos on the home page the new buttons appears in the top right corner of the video allowing you to quickly turn on audio and captions on the home page while the progress bar at the bottom lets you easily scrub through the video PS5 and PS5 Digital Edition will be back in stock this Wednesday, June 23rd at 12 p.m. noon in India. It will be available in Amazon India, Chroma, Flipkart, Games the Shop, Prepaid Gamer Card, Reliance Digital, and Sony Center have all announced on their respective official website. Vijay Sale confirmed that it will offer both PS5 variants on June 23rd. This will be the fourth time that the PlayStation 5 will be officially back in stock in India, and just the second time for its digitally only counterpart. The PlayStation 5 Digital Digital edition that launched in South Asia over six months on from its global debut. Hopefully, its stocks will last a bit longer this time. MI 11 Lite price in India starts from rupees twenty one thousand nine ninety nine. The key specifications include an AMOLED display, Snapdragon seven thirty two G processor, and a sixty four megapixel camera. MI 11 Lite first sale in India on Flipkart is on June twenty eighth. If we talk about the price of MI 11 Lite in India, the base variant features a six GB of RAM and packs a one twenty eight GB of internal storage. It is priced at rupees twenty one thousand nine ninety nine. There is also an eight GB RAM and a one twenty eight GB variant, which is priced at rupees twenty. Three thousand nine ninety nine. As a part of the early bird pricing, both variants will be priced at rupees twenty thousand four ninety nine and rupees twenty two thousand four ninety nine. Additionally, HD cards bank card holder can claim up to thousand five hundred Indian rupees discount on these devices. This smartphone comes in three colors: Tuscan, Coral, Jazz Blue, and a Vinyl Black. But the five G version of M I Eleven Lite will launch when the five G services are available in the country. Xiaomi has launched the MI Watch Revolve Active in India has an advanced variant of MI Watch Revolve. MI Watch Revolve Active price in India is at rupees 9999. The key specifications include a 1.39 inch AMOLED display, heart rate monitor, SpO2 sensor and 117 workout tracking modes and a 420 mAh battery with 14 days battery life. Lava has announced its entry into the true wireless earbuds market. Its first product will be called as Pro Buds and will go on sale starting on June 24th. For a limited time only, users can buy the Pro Buds by Lava for rupees one. After which, it will go on sale for its full price at rupees 2199. If we talk about the features, this earbuds will last up to 25 hour long music play time, which is backed by a 55 mAh battery in the earbud and a 500 mAh battery in the case. The Pro Buds weighs around 77 grams. and it is a ipx5 water and sweat resistant and it is also possible to invoke digital assistants such as alexa google assistant and many more via simple double tap gesture Fauji Team Deathmatch mode is expected to bring guns a new map and many more features. Fauji Team Deathmatch mode is not available yet. The new gameplay mode was expected to be available in beta on June 21st. The company has not announced a new date till now. 
the battle royal genre would not be what it is today if not for the runway and thoroughly unpredictable success of PUBG. Not only as a game manager to take over the mobile game market, but the original PC and console version has evolved over this year. Substantial developments earlier this year suggest that the new PUBG title may be heading for the release in 2022. According to the leaks, plans for the sequel were dropped, which has now led to the features planned for the sequel to be funneled into the original PUBG. PUBG might be taking a similar approach. It looks. like a craft and will be looking into introduce cross play between the pc and console which is pretty exciting stuff Redmi Note 10 price in India have been increased again by the company. The Redmi Note 10 6GB RAM and 128GB storage version now cost at rupees 14999 which is up from rupees 14499. Realme C25s price in India has been increased by rupees 500. The 4GB RAM and the 64GB variant now cost at rupees 10,499, and 4GB RAM and 128GB version now cost at 11,499 Indian rupees. The key specifications include a 6.5 inch HD Plus IPS LCD screen with a MediaTek Helio G85 processor. It comes with a 13 megapixel triple rear camera and a 6000 mAh battery. Realme seems to be working on a bunch of new smartphone earlier this week Realme G1 was spotted on the official Realme India website and it is believed to be a new budget series that may be placed close to the current C series Now the Realme Y6 have been listed on the website the listing doesn't reveal much else about the phone at this moment which makes it hard to speculate whether it will be a budget offering or will be a mid-range phone Redmi launched the Redmi K40 series earlier in the year, making it one of the cheapest flagship phone familiar of the year. The Xiaomi sub-brand is not stopping here either, as it looks like the company is already working on a follow-up series. Redmi executive has confirmed that the Redmi K50 series is coming. As per the leaks, it will come with an improved fast charging support and a video imaging and a screen quality as well. Motorola plans to expand upon its newly convinced Moto G series of smartphones. The first one is codenamed as Kyoto is a Moto H20 Lite, while the second and the third are codenamed as Lisbon Moto G60s and Sapien as Moto G50 5G. Moto G50 is already out and about in Europe market. It is a 5G capable and it also comes with Snapdragon 480 chipset. Perhaps it is a rebagged version intended for Southeast Asian markets like India. Lenovo has finally launched the Lenovo K30 Note smartphone. The device is currently available for sale in the Russian market. This phone looks like a rebranded model of Moto G10. If we talk about the specifications, it features a 6.5 inch IPS LCD display, 48 megapixel quad camera setup and a 8 megapixel of selfie camera. This smartphone houses a Snapdragon 460 chipset, 4GB RAM and a 128GB of internal storage and it packs a 5000 mAh battery that offers 10W charging support. The device is only available and a single 4GB RAM and a 128GB of storage options. The Lenovo K30 Note price in Russia starts at 12,490 Russian ruble, which is around 12,063 Indian rupees. The live images of the Techno Phantom X have surfaced online, hinting at a possible upcoming launch sometime within August 2021. Along with its images, key specifications of this smartphone have also been revealed. The features include a MediaTek Helio G95 processor. It comes with an 8 GB of RAM and a 256 GB of storage. It will have a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus OLED dual curved display with a 90 Hz refresh rate, and it will have a triple rear camera module with a 15 megapixel primary sensor and a 13 megapixel and 8 megapixel of additional units. We can also see dual front camera module with a 48 megapixel primary sensor with an 8 megapixel of additional unit. It runs on Android 11 with high OS custom interface and a 4700 mAh battery with a 33 watt fast charging support. 5G network trials have begun in India. Reliance Jio reportedly carried out 5G network trial using its Indignus gear in Mumbai. The company is expected to carry out this test trials in other cities as well as in the coming days. Mukesh Ambani led Telco carried out trials a day after Airtel conducted 5G network test in Gurgaon Cyber Hub. At this time the company had hopped for Ericsson 5G network gear. A new telecom report states that Bharti Airtel has entered into the strategic partnership with Tata Group to deploy locally developed open brand based 5G radio and core resolutions using home ground open ran technology will allow Airtel to reduce the cost of 5G developments in India thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow digi integrity on twitter instagram and facebook